Hi guys, welcome to the Clack Shack. This channel is more or less just about me and my hobbies, uh, which trust me, I got plenty. All right, we got we got the laser engravers. I do woodworking, uh, sawmill, dry my own lumber for different projects. Uh, I, I live out in a rural, very rural area and uh, don't have any neighbors nearby. We don't have a lot of regulations here as far as what you can and can't do. So pretty much anything goes here. Uh, me and my family, we live here on a, about an eight acre block of property that's ours. Got a, another family member owns some property across the road and we just, we enjoy this lifestyle. Okay guys, uh, besides the laser engraving, which is a lot of what I do because that's what people ask me for. It's what people want to see. Uh, but besides laser engraving, uh, I've got chickens. We've got the dogs, the cats, the cats hang out in the shop here with me. You'll probably get to see one of them in this video before it finishes. Uh, but gardening and just just country living guys i got i've got honeybees uh, i pretty much fix repair or upgrade anything on the property that needs to be done i don't like to hire things out so there may be times that i'm you know fixing a lawnmower doing plumbing fixing something electrical or you know driveway work with the tractor uh, you never know guys it's just traditional country living and if you're not from the country you know, might be something you're interested in. If you want to have aspirations to move to the country one day, you, you might want to check in on it because it is a little harder on uh, folks sometimes if you're not used to all the maintenance that comes with having a you know bigger spread of property and stuff like that. All right, guys, so the sun's starting to go down, a little bit of an angle, but uh, this is kind of my neck of the woods right here, okay? Nearest neighbor's pretty good distance away. We don't have to listen to people yelling or talking or anything. You do have the occasional loud vehicle going down the road, but those aren't as common. And it's just, this is it guys. Uh, just me and my little piece of dirt. Uh, as you'll see right over here, uh, that's the garden. Uh, my daughter has an herb garden where she grows her own herbs. Uh, currently, I think there's some mushrooms growing underneath my house in a bucket uh, because she does like to raise her own foods, herbs, uh, mushrooms, which is an acquired taste guys. Uh, but she's really into that kind of thing. So we just recently built her an herb garden. She's got it over there in the in the front of the house. Uh, and then my wife has her garden here. And we use the uh, black plastic because we don't do a lot of garden gardening. It's a small garden. It provides just enough vegetables to kind of get us through for the summer and put a little bit back in the freezer to get us through some of the winter. Uh, but we, my wife and I both work full-time jobs, so there's not a lot of time to be tending a garden. The plastic just kind of helps keep the weeds down, the moisture in, and just makes things a lot better. All right, guys, further up the hill, and I've got my chicken pen up here. It's a little messy right now. The weeds just started coming out. I got to do a little cleanup around here, but uh, we do have several. I think I'm up to 10 chickens and maybe a couple of guineas still. And uh, get our own eggs, take care of the chickens, and they lay us plenty of eggs. So it's nothing like being able to come up here fresh out of the nest and make your own make your own food so you just come up here and you, you you grab some eggs give the girl some corn and everybody's happy all right guys so now i'm up here on the road to the mill and as you can see i got a lot of logs back there some of them are going bad on me because i just don't have time to get them all milled up and eventually when i get a chance this is where my wood comes from uh, this is my saw mill this building built it completely off of this mill I think my total building cost was maybe four or five hundred dollars and that was for the metal some bolts and screws to uh, put it together with but this is where i can come and hang out cut up my own wood and uh, use it for projects and this is actually where the clack shack started was at the sawmill and then everything has evolved to where it's a lot more now all right guys just a little bit better to look inside the uh, mill shop here and uh, i just keep most of my woodworking as far as my mill tools you know chainsaws uh, cat hooks, uh, stuff like that that's used day to day in either bringing logs home or cutting them up. Most of that stuff stays up here. Uh, I do have my wood miser uh, saw sharpener over there, sharpen my own blades because like I said, I don't like to send stuff out to have it done, guys. I like to try to keep everything here. Uh, but that guy uh, comes in handy. It saves you a lot of money on these blades because when you're milling uh, this wood, especially in the sandy soil that I've got, you go through a lot of blades. All right, and one of the, the smallest animals here at the Clack Shack, of course, is my bees. Uh, this is a beehive that I built out of some lumber off the mill. And I'm not good at it yet, but I'm getting better. 
The thing I like about my beehive is I built windows in it so that I can kind of check on my bees without having to disturb them. And uh, that comes in really handy. But we're trying to get this colony up and going to where maybe in the future I can start drawing some honey off of them. But for right now, they're just getting fed. All right, guys, that concludes the tour. Those are all the major attractions that I would uh, have to go with that I was having here at the shack. But like I said, most of the activity is going to happen here in the shop. Uh, that's where I spend most of my time uh, in here doing projects. I got my own laser business where I do business pro or projects for other people. And uh, typically, that's where I'm going to be, uh, trying out new equipment and helping you guys figure out what's wrong with your machines and just having a ball. And also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to go check out our Sunday Night Lives. That's every Sunday night, 7 p.m. until we get tired. So thanks for stopping by, guys. Thanks for the support. Like I said, we're glad to have hit the 10K mark. And hopefully things will keep growing as long as you guys keep looking and keep watching. So have a good day.